Good evening, all. Good evening, Arthur. Is he with you? Yes, he is, Hannah. Don't be shy, Burke. Everyone wants to meet you. Well, here goes. You must be the new engine. And not only that, but an LNER engine. It's such an honour to meet an engine who comes from the same railway as the Flying Scotsman. <laughs> it's nice to meet you all. The Southern engines introduced themselves, and except for Greyhound, they were all welcoming and friendly. Then, a man turned up. Ah, you must be Burke. I am Mr. Reese, the yard manager, and I understand that you have been having a hard time. That's correct, sir. Well, just to let you know that if you have any problems, don't hesitate to speak to me, Arthur, Hannah or Stepney. We have been needing some help for a while, and we are glad that you have come. Since you're going to be a permanent resident here, just to let you know that the Imperial Airways is an important express service, and I take charge of it. No other engine but me. Yes, thank you, Greyhound. That will do. For the first few weeks, I did some shunting in the yards. It was just so I could get used to the area before taking express services again. And of all the engines and manager were friendly, I was still full of regret. I was not myself, and Hannah could see that. It's just not right seeing a D11 director shunting trucks. No, it isn't. I'm a mixed traffic engine, Burke. So maybe I will do the next shunting and you could take my next train. Thank you for the offer, Hannah, but... <sighs> I deserve this. Hannah felt sorry for me and she wished that she could help. Greyhound, on the other hand, was no sympathy. Whenever he could, he would torture me endlessly and remind me on how I betrayed the LNER. But luckily, when he did, the others stuck up for me. Time passed, and the engines gave me a warming Christmas, and by New Year, I felt like I was one of them, and we were like a family. And it was my first day to take the Pullman train from Waterloo Station to Brighton. It must be nice pulling coaches again. It's been a while. Hannah told me last night. Did she tell you that Mr. Reese was going to inform you? Yes, but he was having a meeting last night. It's always best to pass a message on to whoever you see. Well, I'll see you later, Arthur. Enjoy yourself, Burke. on the Pullman train. The line from London to Brighton won't be as long as the lines on the LNER. I forgot to tell him that. Well, he's here now, so let's see what he thought. Evening, Bert. How was your first run on the... Oh dear, Burke. What's up with you? How was the Pullman and the run? They were... okay. Today was my first day at Waterloo and it reminded me of... of... King's Cross. Did it remind you of King's Cross? Yes. I, I don't want to sound ungrateful. Um... Burke, it's okay. We understand. It's natural for you to be homesick. Well, not only that, but I was thinking about what 
Barnaby said the night before I left. He said that he wanted to be gone. <laughs> well, you said that when you departed, he whistled to you. So surely he was indicating that he's still your friend. I'm sure back home, he regrets saying that and wishes that he gave you a better night. The rivalry between the LNER and LMS is ridiculous if you ask me. If only the two railways could get along and be friends. Well, maybe if you didn't break the rules, you'd still be at that stupid top shed with that useless scrap iron. Greyhound, this is none of your business, so stay out of this. Dollars to him, Burke. How about you go to sleep now, Burke? Hopefully Mr. Reese will give you a day off tomorrow, because you have been working hard lately. Anna was right, so I went to sleep. The next day was the 3rd of July, 1938, and little did I know that back on the LNER, something that would go down in railway history was happening. We've done it. What's the number? Look at this. Blimey! I don't believe it. Congratulations, Mallard. You have broken the world speed record at 126 miles an hour. You are now the fastest steam locomotive in the world. Morning, Burke. Mr. Reese has read something in the paper regarding the LNER. What is it? A streamlined A4 called Mallard has broken the world speed record at 126 miles an hour. Congratulations, Burke. It sounds like your railway is going strong. Thank you, sir. The record was the talk of the town, and I was very proud to be LNER. One evening, a year after Mallard's glory, I returned from Waterloo Station, and when I arrived at the roundhouse, I could see that the engines were looking worried. I looked down to the middle of the roundhouse, and I saw Greyhound talking to a Princess Coronation Pacific. It's a disgrace that you were beaten by a train with a duck's name. Oh no, I'm never doing so well. And to make matters worse, we have the perfect engine working with us. He was exiled from his railway. <gasps> you mean that same engine is spoiled us on Houston? I'm afraid so, my lady Hamilton. I'm not just about saying, Damn it! I hope I don't see any peeping engines like you when I go to the World Fair! Oh, Globbits, leave me alone! Poor Beck, being treated like this. I better go and see if he's all right. Brock, are you? There's just no getting away from the rivalry. No matter how hard I try to forget that day, it comes back with a vengeance. Calm down, Brock. The Duchess of Hamilton is only staying one night, and tomorrow she will be going to America. Sorry, Arthur. I just don't want to be reminded of that day. I'm going to sleep here for the night. Very well. Also, tell Hannah that I'll take her good train. So Arthur told Hannah, and she reluctantly agreed. Hannah was reluctant, not because they were hers, but because she knew that the trucks were troublesome. Now then, you lot, wakey wakey. What right have you got? Porter your small blocks into our booze asleep. We want Hannah. We had plans for her. Well, she's busy right now, so you've got me. Now behave yourselves. Come on, let's go and get a break, Van. At first, the trucks seemed to be cooperating, but 
I never got the brake van, because as soon as we passed the signal, all hell broke loose. On, on, on! Oh god, Berg! The bleeding trucks! I know! Don't just panic! Put the brakes on! I fought hard, but they searched me even harder. Then suddenly, I heard a very loud crack. Ouch! Oh bleeding hell! Your brakes are snapped! Oh, Uncle Abbott, now we really are in trouble. And we were. The trucks pushed me faster, my wheels were spinning out of control, and Greyhound was laughing as we raced past. <laughs> I can really see how you work with trucks on the LNER. If only the Duchess of Hamilton was still here, the last thing that she sees before going to America is an LNER engine in big trouble with some trucks. <laughs> Priceless! <laughs> sure at the time, but I thought that I could see all moments of my life and engines who I knew flashed before my eyes. Whatever was happening, I was taking my crew to oblivion. Are you hurt? Accidents happen now and again. Don't get worked up about it. He was just like you. It wasn't his fault, Greyhound, and you know that! Who cares? <laughs>